Hi and welcome to today's video which is about creating home decor items using stencils. Now all my friends who follow me know that I prefer to do free hand sketching, hand lettering wherever and whenever possible but today I have been challenged to use stencils in my DIY projects. So I'm using some basic stencils because I don't have the fancy stencils that are widely available now in the market but you can use any of the stencils that you like but I'm using some basic stencils from kids stationery items such as from a craft kit one basic stencil like this and another is a ruler which just has the alphabets on it one can even use the numbers pretty useful so these are my prime craft supplies today then as you saw, I had taken a wine bottle, emptied, cleaned, removed the labels and coated it with white acrylic paint to create the base over which I am going to create my home decor. Now I am using this pink plastic stencil. It's plastic and it has this beautiful dragonfly cutout design on it which I am going to use for stenciling today. And I'm using black acrylic paint and using a white round brush to apply it depending on the kind of surface you are using or the bigger the stencil you need whiter the brush the smaller the pattern of your stencil the finer the brush or covering white area use a bigger brush that's a basic thing so first I decided to make some dragonflies They came out pretty neat and nice, <laughs> though any time I would have preferred to hand paint them, but great, they came out really good, pretty easy and quick way of doing it. Then I'm using the scalloped edge of my stencil to create a scalloped edge base for my home decor base. And again, I'm using the brush to uh, add paint now you will also see that I showed that if one can immediately wash off the stencils I just washed it off immediately with a wet piece of rag and my stencil is clean as new and can be reused again and again now just while stenciling be careful that you are not putting your fingers or the stencil on any white uh, wet paint otherwise you'll destroy your decor. The way out will be either take the paint off if possible or just paint it over with the base color. So far it's good but let's add some more decor, some more interest to it. So I'm making some flourish basically some field where farm area where the dragonflies are flying because there's a farm it's like a wheat shaft or something like that some grains are growing here so I'm using black and later on I'll mix some brown acrylic paint to develop it further give it a little more interest and color my today's craft idea is challenged by CJ CJ is the host for stencil it's it up challenge and her co-hosts today are Lapasha and Krista so I'll put links to all the three ladies channels down in the description box along with the playlist for stenciling ideas for home decor now after I made the flourish you can see there is more depth and interest because of the two colors and then I'm taking a humble toothbrush. This is a toothbrush nobody uses now, but I kept it for crafting. I took some paint in it and I'm just spraying it over the surface of the bottle, more on the top and gradually down below. I even added a little border of brown paint along the scallop edge. It defines it further, gives it more depth because of the two-tone colors and the speckled look because of the brown color spray effect 
gives it more ceramic like feel so it's more like a fake ceramic face now now to finish it I took some jute string and I wind it around the neck portion of the bottle and tie it then I had already made a bow with some more jute rope which I'm going to stick on top of this to finish the neck portion of the bottle or now the ceramic vase and I think my fake ceramic vase with stenciled dragonflies is really beautiful. I just added some dried wheat shaft to it and I think it looks beautiful. It's a great decor now. For my second DIY, I took these containers which came with some kids watches. As you see, it's a sturdy nice container, can be used for storing items. I love the black lid and the base and the rim in pure black. But what I don't like is this tacky orange color which I need to take off as much as possible. And then just give it a coat of white base color. Next I took this handmade paper, it has a feel of fake leather and has shimmery surface, it's a thick paper and has kind of woven kind of texture, it would look like a leather once I cut it, so I cut a thin strip out of it and make two pieces to get labels and I'm rounding off the corners to give it a neat look. Now I'm using this easily available stencil ruler for kids for alphabets. So I'm going to place my alphabets. I'm going to start from the center. I'm going to write clips, another one. I'm going to write bands. They both have got five alphabets in each of these words. And I'm going to start from the center word because it's easy to find the center of the label and then finish the alphabets towards the left and then towards the right so that way I'll get a neatly centered alphabet so I'm using white acrylic paint here and a finer brush because the alphabet stencil is very thin and small so I'm using a finer brush for this and I'm writing down or stenciling down my word here now if one needs to be a little careful while the paint is wet otherwise you'll spoil your label so after that I just gave it a white border and finally finished it with some black color so that the label stands out very well. The next thing I just folded the paper slightly to give it a little curve, added some craft glue to it, spread it around. It's a textured paper so I used a brush to spread it neatly and evenly and then stick it in the center of my box or container. Similarly I did the second label also. I made sure that both the positions are similar and pasted my second label onto the second container or box. I again mixed up some acrylic color in rusted brownish orange kind of color and I'm using a thicker brush, diluted it slightly and I'm applying this color around the edges of the label because I want it to look little aged and stuck onto the container since ages and also did the same uh, color slightly giving it a rusted look, a little like pewter kind of feel uh, by applying this paint around the edges of the white portion of the container on both the edges. I later on also added a little 
black uh, finely around the edges of the white to give it more depth. After this was done, again the same humble toothbrush comes in. I loaded it with this rusted brown color and sprayed it onto my container and it started looking really good. It, the stark white feel is gone. It looks a little aged now, speckled, rusted and it looks really good. You can see the difference between the two containers after the spraying effect. It's really beautiful. So I did the second one also, the spray effect here, and I'm very happy how these two containers turned out. Now one can add a little handle to the lid. Uh, say for example, a wooden bead can be stuck onto the center of the lid for a handle. But since the lids come off very easily, I just wanted to keep it just like this because it will be so much easier to stack them and store them together. I'm very happy with my today's utility decor items. They have this beautiful neutral color scheme in modern rustic vibes. They have that country feel to them, the vintage feel about them, which I really like. The color tones of white, blacks and neutral brown rust and shoot is lovely here. I would love to read your thoughts in the comment section below. Please write them. And if you enjoyed, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new here, consider joining my YouTube family by subscribing with all notification bell. And I'll see you all very soon in my next video with another craft idea. Until then, stay positive and be creative. Thank you so much everybody for all the support and love that you have showed me.